Howdy everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Brick Travi, and today I will be ranking all 18 of the Series 100 Disney minifigures in the order of what I like the least to the ones I like the most. Now this is just my personal opinion. Other people might have uh, different views and that's perfectly fine. This is just based on my personal preferences on the Disney movies that I like and the characters I like from them. So I hope you guys enjoy it and we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start at my least favorite and work my way to my favorite. So, unfortunately, there has to be a last place, even though I think all of these minifigures are very good. I chose Ernesto de la Cruz as my last, my last pace uh, loser, I guess you would say. Now, like I said, this figure does look actually fantastic. I like the guitar. I like the hat piece. It has a lot of detail on it. Let me show you the backside as well. Unfortunately, uh, it just, I, that movie really isn't one of my favorites, even though I do believe it is a good movie. It just uh, wasn't for me. So next up, I did choose Miguel from Coco as well. Now, as long as his spirit animal. Uh, now, like I said, this is another really great minifigure. He gets his own guitar, as well as two different face prints. He has an entirely different head in this one. So he gets his human head, as well as his Day of the Dead head. And um, this is the way I chose to uh, actually display him. So like I said, this is an actually really good minifigure. It just wasn't from one of my favorite movies. Next up, we have Dr. Facilier. Like I said, the villains were absolutely fantastic in this wave, and I have a lot of respect for him, and this figure was done so, so well. The face, the tilted hat, getting that Louisiana vibe with your staff, as well as the contract for the prince. So this, I mean, it absolutely looks fantastic. But again, uh, Princess and the Frog isn't one of my favorite movies from Disney, so... Um, he does get <coughs> down the line a little bit. Next up, we have the Queen of Hearts. And she came with a collar piece and as well as her scepter. Uh, I, like I said, it's a very good set. Um, excuse me, good figure. Just, uh, I think the bottom piece, which is accurate to the character, just kind of threw me off. And like I said, good character, just... Not my favorite. Next up, we did Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Um, very bland minifigure. Um, that's really all I can say about it. It's very bland. But, very cool character. I'm glad Disney owns the rights to this one again. Next up, I know a lot of people will be kind of controversial about this one, but like I said, this is my personal opinion. The Stitch uh, Experiment 626. Um, he does have a back print with his actual uh, tail pieces and his tail, as well as forearms. And I believe his forearm is from the um, that Star Wars minifigure they did from Solo a while back. So they just re you know uh, printed that one. Um, I'm not a fan of this one at all. Um, I love Stitch as a character. I think he is one of the <laughs> the bit uh, best Star Wars. Excuse me, it's not Star Wars Disney characters they did animated in the early 2000s. But we already had a Stitch, and it's just very unfortunate they picked a slot with another character that's already been done. Next up, I like this figure, and I don't want people to get hurt. But I picked Baymax. So uh, I think he comes with his charging station as well as the long arms. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's just it's a very bland minifigure, and he doesn't get a counterpart either. So it's just a solo here. Next, I chose Mulan, and I do love the princesses in this one. Um, but I chose Mulan next, and she's got her trusty cricket. I do believe it's odd that they did not add Mushu instead of the Cricket, so. Hmm. Next up, I picked Cruella de Vil. Um, and this one is actually from one of my favorite Disney movies ever. The only issue I have is her collar piece. It's I'm having a hard time getting to stay down, so like when you first see it was all up in the air, I don't that's a little frustrating for me, but mm, she comes with the Dalmatian and that 100th anniversary plaque. Next up, we have, and this is actually one of my favorite animated movies of all time, 
we have King John from Robin Hood with his bag of gold and a gold piece. So this one, the cape looks a lot more better, but like I said, just where I place it on the line. A very good minifigure though. And I do like how they managed to capture that the crown is too big for him and it's sitting on his ears. I love that, it looks amazing. Next up, I picked Pinocchio. Very bland figure, like I said, it's, I do like the side printing on his legs, um, but he gets nothing on the back. So I, I think that's why I have this one ranked a little bit lower than it sh probably should, because they didn't go all the way around the print. That's so weird, right? You know, like his, all the way in the front, in the middle, not down the back, kind of weird. Oh, and he does come with his fish. Next up from the same category, I did pick Jiminy Cricket. Um, this one, I think it's the head that's throwing me off. I don't think that looks like Jiminy Cricket, and I think that's why I'm a little upset about it. This one, even though I wanted this one higher on this list, his collar piece looks all right, and of course he comes with his signature umbrella. Again, for one of my favorite animated classics, we have Robin Hood as the fox. Cool minifigure. He gets the print going all the way around for his flesh and uh, comes with his little feather and his bow and arrow. Next up we have Tiana. I love the princesses and especially the princess in a dress. So I will be adding her to the front of my Disney castle. And I guess that's a little biased, like I said, because I love the princesses. So, uh, of course, her accessory is Tiana's Place, a menu for her restaurant, and, of course, a frog. Next up, we have Pocahontas. So, this is an amazing one. I love that they did her hair in the wind. Looks absolutely fantastic. This, I, I really probably should have put this one higher. Um, it's just, I love it to death. And, like I said, she gets her boot print all the way around. She gets the feathers. I mean, it just whew, looks absolutely amazing. Of course, we get some leaves here because, you know, all the colors of the wind. This is just, like I said, hands down, this is probably one of the best princesses they have. Next up, we have Aurora. So we have Aurora or Sleeping Beauty with the owl. And the only reason I did place this one above Pocahontas is because she is in the dress. And that eventually I want to do a mock of Sleeping Beauty's castle, just like they do have the Disney castle. And I said, she's just one of the core princesses. So it's nice to finally have her in minifigure form. I'm not a big fan of the mini dolls and it's so nice to start getting mini, like uh, <clears throat> the princesses in minifigure form. And like I said, I think that's a little bit why I was upset earlier when I was talking about Stitch, because we could have gotten another princess like Cinderella. So just throwing that out there. So these last two minifigures are almost a tie for first place. So of course there has to be a first and a second. So let's get into it. So at number two, I have the Evil Queen. This is a fantastic minifigure. She gets the collar and the cape with accurate color schemes, the dress, the crown, as well as the enchanted mirror with the face being a brick, a brick head. So, wow. This, I mean, it probably takes the cake. It's very hard to choose which one I like the most. Um, but yeah, this one, just the, probably the best villain of the line. It's just amazing. And last but not least, of course, you can't have Disney without Mickey Mouse. And number one for me, of course, is Sorcerer Mickey. So this is my absolute favorite version of Mickey Mouse. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Travis, you said you, are, you don't want minifigures you've had before. This is a different version of Mickey Mouse. And I never think, well, it's a different version of Stitch. It's Mickey Mouse and Sorcerer Mickey. You know, it's, it's the staple of Disney. So this one will actually end up going on my Disney castle along with all of my other minifigures, but yeah. So T 
Tell me what you guys think down below. If I'm right, am I wrong? What do you guys think about my placement? And I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I'll see you guys next time.